Hi guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to make some circles using a plastic compass. This is a plastic compass. It doesn't have any pointy edges like those old fashioned compasses are. Compass is something that you use to create circles with. This is a safety compass. So what we're gonna do right now is make some circles. Got my piece of paper. I'm going to tape down the sides a little bit only because I'm gonna be using two hands to draw and I really don't want my paper to move. So I think that'll cut it. Whenever I put um, tape down on corners, I like to put a little bit of my finger on there so it's not super sticky so when I peel it off, it won't have any ripped paper. So that's a little trick. Next, we're gonna find the middle of our paper approximately. For me, it's right about there. So I'm gonna make a little dot right there. You probably can't see it. I'm gonna make it big so you can see it. But really, in real life, don't make it big. We don't wanna see that dot at all. This is just a guide mark for us. We're going to take this little grommet that's right in the middle, right here, and line it up on that dot. Now with the hand that I don't usually draw with, for me, that's my left hand, I'm going to put pencil right here, right in the middle. With my other pencil, I'm going to put it in one of these dots along the sides. I'm gonna show you that a little bit closer. See all these little tiny dots? Every single one of these allows us to make a circle that gradually gets bigger and bigger and bigger depending on how far away from the center you choose. So actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Instead of choosing one of these, I'm gonna choose one of these first. So that way I can make it really tiny. I want a really tiny circle to start. So I'm going to hold this in place, my left hand. I'm not going to move this hand at all and I'm going to press somewhat hard so that my compass does not move. If I don't press hard, this will move, I mean, it moves this way, which is good, but I don't want this part to move. This part has to stay absolutely still. So that way when I draw around, it will keep us in that circular pattern. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose one of these small circles on the outside. I'm gonna hold my pencil straight up and down, perpendicular to the paper, and I'm going to draw around. I've got a decent looking circle. Put that back. Put my pencil back again. Keep it in that exact center. Now I'm gonna try one of these little side circles. My tape's getting in the way a little. I'm pressing kind of hard. I am going to pick it up and pick it up on the other side because my hand just doesn't move that way. And it's not perfect, but that's okay. Do it again, put it back. And you don't have to move this every time you make a circle. I'm just moving it so you can see it. Next. My tape is getting in the way. It's kind of hitching me up a little bit. I need to pull it out and bring it around the other side. Put it in that exact same dot. Do it again. Keeping my left hand still or the hand that does not draw still while the other hand does all the work. Uh-oh, I moved, did you see that? I'm not in the center anymore. That's okay. Erase, put it back. I just need to figure out what dot was I using? Let's see, which one must be this one? Must be this one. Okay, it's tough to keep it still. Go around, move your pencil as needed to the other side. And there you have a bunch of concentric circles. So I moved again, did I move? No. Your goal is to try this and make a bunch of circles. See if you can get to the edge of your paper, making nice even circles. Even meaning they're the same thickness all the way around the same distance away from the last circle that you created you don't have to press as heavy as I'm pressing. I'm only pressing heavy so you can see it. But lighter is actually better. One of my favorite sayings is draw light until you know it's right. Then you can make it darker. We are eventually gonna go over this with marker anyway. But there you have it. We've got these really cool concentric circles. This is going to be step one for a project that we're making goldfish out of. We've got our circle, which will eventually be all cool colors. And then we're going to put some fish on top of it that will be warm colors, which is 
pretty cool. I'm excited to see how it goes. I will keep you updated. Until then, enjoy your eccentric, sorry, concentric circles with the safety compass.